had this all connected to the internet via the ethernet cable. Uh, we actually now still have to program this little guy to make sure they accept all command from the app that we use, the uh, IP fob. Uh, basically to start it off, basically you're going to get a sheet of paper which has all the instructions for the uh, panel, the Vista 20 panel. And basically you just go follow all the instructions which is pretty simple. So you're going to go into programming mode. Now just be aware that if you do not have your programming code or installer code, you'll need to get that to get into programming mode. Um, if you don't know it or cannot get into it, then yeah, you will not be able to install the bat module. So for our purposes, we do know the uh, installer code. And once in there, just follow the instructions as stated. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, each step is lineated for you and just follow the steps as follow. Whenever you need to get out and continue with the next step, just hit star and now I'll get you back to the main menu system. That should be it. Uh, once you do this, go ahead and download the IP key fob app and use the username and password that is instructed on the sheet of paper. And once in there, uh, you can actually check out. It should say, give you the same readout, and you can actually arm and disarm the actual device uh, from your key fob. Or if you want to, you can also do the same exact thing on the internet, just go to umonitor.com and type in your username and password and you're good to go.